continent that's recently been described as Zealandia, a newly discovered continent at about half the size of Australia. New Zealand is quite a large landmass, but mostly underneath the water. Offshore here is our exclusive economic zone. So this is about 200 nautical miles beyond every known piece of land that belongs to New Zealand, whether it be an island or the mainland itself. In recent times, going through the United Nations, New Zealand was able to extend its territory where we see these yellow lines. And this is known as the extended continental shelf of New Zealand. And this means that New Zealand, its sovereign state, constitutes about 1% of the surface of the earth. So we're up here on the top of the Tararuas. It's spectacularly beautiful up here. Uh, there's this bush everywhere and there's these great vistas of the Tararuas and down to Greytown and so on. And if you imagine you cut out a shape that represented New Zealand's extended continental shelf and you wanted to balance it on your finger, this point here, the centre, is the point that it would balance. It wouldn't tip to one side or the other, it would balance exactly on that point. So the centre of the plaque there shows the exact centre of New Zealand's extended continental shelf. 